Okay, guys. So here's a look inside the fish tank slash crayfish tank. Okay, so down here, as you can see, uh, we've got the three three um, enclosures. The two small ones here, as you can see in here, there's there's a bit of uh, chili and some chili leaves, but these guys have been munching on well. Doesn't look like they've been eating the chilies too much. Anyway, that's all good. Um, so yeah, we've got some aeration here, um, plenty of aeration through the whole tank, um, as well as some water shooting across the top of the tank from another pump. Um, yes, yeah, so and this is a large enclosure, a new experimental one. I haven't had this going for very long, just a few weeks for the larger crayfish. There's a picture of the fish, and yeah, okay. So basically, there's two heaters in there in the tank, uh, two pumps. That one there that you can see pumps into the grow bed and it recirculates back down. Yeah. So here we go. Crayfish number one. Alright, so um yeah like I said there's the, the chili leaves and the chilies. So there yeah that's a bit of a nibble on that one but not too much really. Um yeah this guy hasn't really taken too much liking to this. There's a fair bit of leaf debris there to remove. And um, yeah, so we're just going to replace it here just with some um, sweet potato leaves that have been thriving, absolutely thriving in the grow bed this time of year. So, yep, yeah, we'll restock him. And the second one here, have a bit of a look. Uh, see, well, this one, as you can see, this one he's had a bit more of a munch on the, on the chili itself, I'm almost half eaten, not too much leaf debris left, just a little bit there to remove. Um, we just like to remove any uneaten food after it's been in there for a while, just to keep the water as clean as I can. So just removing this debris here. Um, yeah, so I think we'll just replace this one. Yeah, I think we might, might get rid of that chili as well. So look at this guy, there he is. This is number two crayfish. And so yeah, we'll just replace this with some more sweet potato leaves. So yeah, they, they're pretty good. Um, these can just go in singly like this. Um, they don't need to be weighed down. The size of the container is small enough to keep these leaves in eating distance for these crayfish. It's no problems at all. They eat those pretty well. And third and finally, the large enclosure. So I hacked off a big bit of a branch of plenty of leaves and three or four chilies into this one. And this guy has absolutely smashed pretty much all the leaves. Um, yeah, once again, not real fond of the actual chilies themselves, which is okay. Um, and this guy is super soft. He's almost too impossible to pick up and this is the reason why this is a, a shell he's just molded out molted out of um, there we go there a bit of a better look at it uh, yeah so this would he would have molted out of this oh, probably a day ago his shell's still very very soft um, his claws he, are visibly a lot larger and his body's a bit bigger so there we go so hopefully he can keep growing and yeah, so once again, we'll just get rid of this debris out of here and yeah, restock it. I think we'll just do this one as well with the, the leaves. And there we go, just weigh these ones down. I need a bit of a rock to keep these on the bottom, otherwise, they float up to the, the top of the lid. And yeah, the crayfish can't really access and get it food too well when it floats around all the time. So weigh it down there, and that should be fine. So there we go. Um, yeah, so now we'll just um, just pop these back in the tank and give you another look at them. So here they are here, just in the bottom of the tank. Um, the large enclosure and the two small ones. And yeah, we'll have another look at these. Uh, I'll give it another week or two and um, see how these go and see how much they've eaten, how much they've grown. And yeah, should be fine. So, um, yeah, I think we might just give you another bit of a look at the, the fish just before we go. There we go. There's the jade perch.